Welcome, ladies. This is Jules. Coming to you with uh, segment number three of uh, five questions the newbies may have. A newbies. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, five questions newbies may have. I'm going to uh, answer probably just three questions. Um, I'll try and do five, but um, doing demonstrations, I might. It's, it runs over, so I'm going to try really fast. So if I talk really fast, I'm sorry, that, and that's why. I really don't want to do a two-parter. Question number one is by Zelly. Um, she's at Zell 475 Her name is Ozell, but um, she had a question on Mod Podge. And um, she was asking, um, are they used for gluing um, and, like, just paper? And no, they're not just used for gluing. They are used um, as a sealer, a glue, and a finish. Um, I'm not a Mod Podge expert, but... Um, I do use Mod Podge, and I have realized that there are um, different kinds now. These are the only two that I have, is the Gloss Luster and the Matte. And um, there are Mod Podges that will say up here above, that will say uh, uh, paper, pa for paper Mod Podge. For scrapbooking and for uh, scrapbooking paper, you want to use one that has some acid-free, um, you know, that's, that's archival safe, so you want it to be able to last when you use it. So, um, especially for scrapbooking your photos and whatever else. So, um, I use, I have used these for mainly paper crafts, and so I don't, um, I haven't really used it for anything else, and so what I did is, um, I did cut out some uh, tags, and uh, out of, off of my canvas material that I have, and this one's still drying, it's a little bit sticky. Um, I use the gloss on here, and you can't really see it on here, but on paper you can, and I use it on the clothespins. Um, I've used more of the matte, and I use, I think, the gloss on one of them, but I use the matte on, on the others. Uh, but you can't really tell in here that it's shiny, because it's fabric, so it's going to soak it up, okay? And this one um, is the, the matte, and it's not, it's only shiny because it's a little wet still. So um, I'm going to be using these, um, these two Mod Podges for um, my fabrics like tags and whatnot because um, this is my the next projects that I'm going to be working on is um, using fabrics for my scrapbooking. So um, I wanted to uh, show you guys as far as with the canvas material, I do use the Mod Podge or I'm going to use it because it's going to help keep it from fraying. And um, I don't want to like burn the edges, especially on this one because canvas to me is like paper for some reason, I don't know, it reminds me of paper, um, and I feel like it's going to burn, and, and it's not going to look right, so, on some fabrics you can burn, and it looks fine, I don't know if I want to try it on canvas, but that's just me, okay, okay, the next question that I have, question number two, is about glimmer mist, can glimmer mist be used on chipboard, or is it only for, like, paper, um, and pre-mess, um, I have tried that, actually, um, I have a couple samples here, I used golden terracotta, um, for the uh, brown chipboard. And this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like after. I did use a lot of coats because it's thick, and it's going to soak it up. So um, that's the, this is the difference here. And you can see the shimmer now on that. Um, I used about two spritz on the corrugated cardboard. And um, I hope you can see the difference in color here. Yeah, the, there's a difference in color, although you can see the shimmer on, you know, right here. And I let the little blotches, I'd, I let them stay there. So. And it's a lot lighter than this one because um, I only did two spritz on here and about five on this one. So, um, and to me, the glimmer mist is not going to last very long if, uh, when you use, uh, use it real heavily, um, unless you are ready to purchase bottle and bottles and bottles and bottles of glimmer mist, which um, I am so fine with doing. Um, I am going to show you guys, oh crap, oh crap, got on my carpet, and it's like cream carpet, what the heck am I doing, son of a biscuit, dang, sorry guys, I was just trying to open it, and I dropped the bottle, and it falls on my cream carpet, I just really do need to get something to sit on in my workspace here, because I'm, I'm always scared of dropping stuff with dyes and whatever else. Um, yeah, see? I used some of, uh, some forest green on here, just so you guys can see I'm using on a piece of canvas. No glimmer. I don't see any glimmer at all. Um, but I'd have to spray, I think I did like two or three sprays here. 
so I'd have to use more to get full coverage. Um, as far as paper, um, this is just white cardstock, and there's a little bit of shimmer, but not a whole lot. Um, so as far as you using using it on chipboard, you sure can. Um, you can use it on um, pretty much anything that's made of, of a fibrous, like uh, paper. You can, like this particular one with the color on it, you want to... Um, if you want to enhance the color of the pink and you want to give it the shine, then you can go ahead and um, apply uh, the same tone. can get uh, some of the same tone on your paper. So if it's blue, you want to use maybe some blue. Um, but to just to keep, uh, just to have like a shine on your actual project, um, and you don't want to use color, then you can go with something like um, the Pearl, which has like a silverish, it's more white, it's like white, whitish silver. Pearl, actually, it is Pearl. Pearl is Pearl. And then the Dewdrop has a silvery the difference here. But these both give a perfect, really good, nice finishing shine um, and a tad bit of glitter. I also tried, tried it on vellum and it looks really nice too. It just curls a lot and it's hard to unfold it. So unless you spray the other side and, and dry it, then you might get a little bit more flatter, but it's pretty hard still sometimes. So I wouldn't really use it too much on that or just use a light coat. Okay, next question. Um, how do you tie ribbon and fibers on a mini? Um, I'm working on one I have not been able to get to, and I'm sad because I want to do it. Okay. Well, I pulled out a page, um, and I've already glued it down and um, distressed the sides and stuff, but once you've got all of your pages done, you want to go ahead and string all of your, um, your pages to either your rings here, or you can use... Um, like jute rope, you can use you can use a lot of other stuff to do it. Um, I've noticed that, yeah, I haven't seen anybody really tie it on there, but I don't think there's a wrong wrong or right way to do it. Um, if you just you can tie it. I would double knot it, though, just because sometimes with some fibers of ribbon and, la and lace or whatever else, it will come apart. But I would double knot it and... Um, And um, these are kind of long. Um, I wouldn't do them these, this long, but I just cut these pieces off just to show you how I do it. And I don't know, either one by one, or you can bundle a couple at a time and double knot it if you don't get confused like I just did. Ha ha. Yeah, and you want to, like, like with fibers, you want to pull the little hairs out so they're not all stuck in there. And then, you know, you want to... One thing stick out. I'm not going to double knot it right now because I don't want to leave it on there. But um, you yeah, know, you just put in as much as you want. Coordinating colors would be great. Sometimes you'll see uh, chipboard albums with uh, three rings and um, or two rings, and you just kind of go along and just tie them however you want. No wrong or right way to do it. However you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, the other question was about navigating on YouTube, and I think I'm going to do one segment on um, on just that. Um, for some new people that have asked me that those questions, and I've just sent messages back and forth, but um, I will probably do that. I think that'll be a good idea to do it on the next segment uh, this coming Monday while I'm uh, in Southern California. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you're not too sure and you're just watching this and you're like, I'm not sure how to do this or that on YouTube, and I'm not sure how to navigate, I'm not a pro, but I can get around now. So <laughs> stay tuned for that, okay? Well, that's all that, all that I have for you today, and you guys take care. Have a good weekend, and I will see you soon. Jewel signing out of the Jewel Box. Bye.